heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I did a video earlier today talking about uh, Deontay Wilder, the remains to burn, a mandatory situation, you know, and let me just make it clear, man. Well, I, I thought I made it clear, but maybe I just didn't convey my message the right way to some of you. But, um, yeah, if they can make the fight happen, and they can satisfy Stavern, sure. Let's have the dealing uh, the dealing of White versus Deontay Wilder fight. So we got that clearing out the way, okay? So yes, he should fight Dillian White. If they can make that fight, I would be way uh, more excited seeing Deontay Wilder fight Dillian White than fighting uh, Bermain Stavern rematch, all right? Now with that said, if Dillian White somehow doesn't get this fight, let's just be consistent, all right? Because from what I'm seeing in my comment sections and just all over social media, now Dillian White to some fans are is the boogeyman now. You know, because when I brought up Jennings fought in Dillian White, people are saying, ah, Mr. Boxer, you, um, you know, Jennings is uh, scared of Dillian White. People telling me that he's scared of him. People telling me, uh, didn't you see when he was out in the UK and Dillian White approached him? He looked shook, Mr. Boxer. So, no. Jennings is too scared to fight him August 19th. Okay, fair enough. Now Dillian, uh, now uh, Deontay Wilder is, he hasn't responded to the four and a half million dollar offer. At least I haven't heard of, of him responding to that. I think it's four and a half million dollars and UK or is it the USA TV rights or something like that. So it's a sweet deal. You know what I mean? And it's a lot to turn down. Um, but you know, People are saying, yeah, he doesn't want Dillian White because Dillian White will beat him. He knows Dillian White will beat him. He knows that Dillian White will find him out and sleep him, right? Cool. So like I said, if none of this can happen for Dillian White, I just hope Dillian White is the same boogeyman if he can't get none of those big fights. So then he should call out Luis Ortiz, right? He should, uh, he should call out the winner out of Gerald Washington and Jarrell Miller and all these other guys. Let's not just single it to fighting Wilder. If you can't get that fight, what else are you going to do? So hopefully, uh, you know, he's the boogeyman all year round. He's not just the boogeyman uh, when it's Jennings and Wilder and everybody's scared of him. So uh, if he can't get this fight with Wilder, then I expect Dillian White to call out Luis Ortiz. Uh, I expect him to call out nothing but the best, you know, because that's the standard that we're holding all, you know, that some fans want to hold these fighters to is fighting nothing but the best. Um, so, yeah, I expect Dillian White to fight nothing but the best, title or no title. Uh, if he can't get this fight with Wilder, if they can't entice Wilder to get in the ring with them, okay, cool. Cool, you know, I'm not going to fault Dillian White, but uh, I, I want to see Dillian White call out Luis Ortiz. Um, and all the top, the very top of the top heavyweights, whether they have fights coming up or not, let's just throw money their way and try to entice them into a fight with Dillian White because he's the he's the new guy according to fans, you know. Um, you guys are putting him on this high pedestal, man, to where if he goes and struggles with the opponent, let's say he doesn't get wilder and he goes and struggle with somebody or he loses a fight. To a lot of fans here in America, not me because I don't hold Dillian White that high. I, I think he is a very good, I think I, I think White is a very good heavyweight. Um, is he a great heavyweight? Is he all time great? No. You have to prove that to get there, in my opinion. I think he's a good, solid heavyweight that'll give a lot of heavyweights problems. But at the same time, I'm not about to pretend like Dillian White was top two, top three. He wasn't, well, at least he wasn't in my top three. I think he is a between top 10, top 15. You may have him in your top 10, somewhere in there. But I'm not going to say he was like top four, you know, top five. At least for me, he's not. Um, but again, I'm going to hold him to the same standards as everybody else. If he can't get this fight with Wilder, I want him to fight nothing but the very best opponents. I don't want to hear nothing about journeyman. I don't want to hear nothing about uh, shaking the rust off because he seems like he's uh, willing to get in there with Wilder right away. So I want to see him get in there with some of these other guys right away if he can't get a Wilder fight. But you guys let me just take in the comments section, man. Uh, it just seems like you guys are creating a monster here. Um, you know, if he happens to lose a fight or... Like I get, you know, then look at the Chisura fight, man. That wasn't a fight where he dominated Derek Chisura. Like, he had to scrape and claw to get, you know what I mean, to, to win by a point or two in that fight. So, I'm just not getting this, like, over-the-top, like, uh, ranking of Dillian White now, man. Just, I don't know, man, I guess. But, uh, yeah, once again, 
let's get Wilder versus White. Fuck it. Let's just get that fight, man. Uh, I don't want to see the Severn rematch. I already seen the first fight. Uh, Wilder completely dominated him. You know, but the WBC, they put him as the mandatory, so it is what it is, man. I can't control what these sanctioned bodies do with uh, how they rate fighters. If I was in control, all these damn uh, top 15 rankings from all four sanctioned bodies would be completely different. But uh, you guys let me check in the comment section about this, man. I'm out.